today I have for you some exciting Dollar Tree DIYs you are going to love. They're easy, they're quick, and I know that you can do them. Let's get to it. I'm so excited about today's video. I am collaborating with these amazing and very talented ladies. We are coming together every other month to bring you some inspiration. And this month is Christmas in July. How it works is we are going to send each other a package and a shopping list. And that shopping list is going to be a challenge items that we're going to go to Dollar Tree and shop. This month, Lisa from Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie sent me my shopping list. So let's see what's on it. Leonette, enjoy your gifts. I hope the list was enough of a challenge to make it fun. Love you, YouTube bestie, Lisa, XOXO. How cute. All right, so here are my items. Wreath form, a candle holder, and something from the kitchen section at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna go shopping with this list and see what we can make. Now that I have my challenge items, and I think Lisa actually kept it pretty easy for me, don't you think? Anyways, I am going to take the platter and I'm just going to hot glue the foam wreath form right onto the center. That way we can have a secure. We are making a nice, large Christmas centerpiece. And I love the way it turned out. I can't wait to show you. The candle holder is gonna go right in the center. At first I thought I would just put it directly on the plate. A little bit later on, I do add some foam underneath. I'm going to take some of this floral foam from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces and hot glue them around the candle holder. That way, we can have places that we can put greenery in, and it's going to also keep the candle holder in place. Now it's time to start adding some greenery. I went into my last year's stash and started pulling some Dollar Tree items. This is a piece that was left over from a Dollar Tree garland. I cannot believe it was exactly this size. Now, you know that hardly ever happens, but oh my goodness. So it fit perfectly. I'm just going to hot glue it towards the bottom of the base of the entire centerpiece. And then I'm going to take some of the garland ties from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to hot glue some on top of that. Then it's time to start adding some greenery. A lot of the greenery is that I am using is evergreen and I do get on Amazon. They are in my Amazon store, so check it out. It is linked down below. Here's that piece that I added underneath the candle holder because I just wanted it to lift up a little bit more. So I'm gonna hot glue it right onto. All right, so the leftover little stems that I was cutting off of the greenery, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna fold them in half, creating like a little clip. And then I'm gonna push them down onto the foam. This is going to keep that greenery down. I was trying to bend them and they just kept popping up. So this little technique really helped keep that greenery down on that foam. So once I had that in place, then it's time to add a different type of evergreen picks. Again, I also got on Amazon and they are in my Amazon store and it's, I'm going to start placing them all around the first base and basically they're going to be facing one way then I am going to start placing some other ones in front of that closer to the candle holder going the opposite way I felt like it just gave it this really natural look to it that I really liked these fairy lights I also got on Amazon and they are on my Amazon store. I'm gonna start threading them all around the greenery. This is so that in the evening or at night, it can be lit up and it's gonna look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 
Now these red glittery picks, they are from the 4th of July collection at Dollar Tree, but why not, right? <laughs> I grabbed them and I separated them into separate little picks and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna place them facing one way and then the ones on top, they're gonna be facing the opposite way. I had these little reindeers left over from last year's Christmas stash and I'm just gonna start placing them one towards the, kind of like the side of the front. I'm just gonna stick them right onto the foam from the wreath form. And then I'm gonna place the other one on the opposite side. So this is that way if we place this in a centerpiece in a dining room table, it looks nice from both sides. I did add a candle from Dollar Tree and I think it looks so stunning. I love this challenge. enjoy DIY home decor this is the channel for you I post every single week so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content for the next Dollar Tree DIY I'm gonna take this full bulb it's from Dollar Tree summer section you can put succulents inside you can put plants whatever you want in this case we're gonna make it something Christmassy so I'm gonna place some of these white stones that I already had on hand I wish I would have had fake snow but I didn't so I'm just gonna use the rocks for now and then I'm gonna take one of those evergreen picks from Amazon and I'm gonna start placing it at first I didn't know how much to cut off so I just cut it a few times until I got the right side place the golden bell first then I place the red berries right behind the bell and then I place the evergreen pick behind the berries and that worked this ribbon was left over from last year's Christmas stash and I did get it at Dollar Tree I'm gonna cut out a piece about 18 inches long, give or take, fold it in half, and I'm gonna thread it through the inside of the top portion of the bulb. Then I'm just gonna thread it, making sure that the ribbon is completely tucked in, and that worked really well, I was surprised. And that's it for this one. This one can actually be used self-standing on a shelf, or on a mantle, but it can also be used as an ornament, and I think it's absolutely stunning. Definitely one of my favorites. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this wood round that I get on Amazon, but Dollar Tree does carry them. I just don't have any on hand and they didn't have any either, but you can certainly find them at Dollar Tree. So when you see them, grab them. I'm also going to take one of these vinyl from Dollar Tree. They're the glittery kind. I recently just posted a video just displaying all kinds of DIYs using these vinyls. So check it out. I'm gonna have it linked down below. I'm gonna cover a little bit of the portion of the wood round. It wasn't wide enough to cover the entire thing, but that's okay. Now this vinyl really sticks. I was pleasantly surprised when I first used them. And you're gonna see here in a minute because it happened to me the last time I used them. It stuck to my paper. That thing would not come off. So I had to stop redo the paper on my tabletop and then continue so here we are i'm going to take another piece of that vinyl and just place it where it's missing now you're going to see a little bit of that crease that's okay we're going to cover that up so once i had it in its place then it's time to start cutting off the excess i'm just going to use my exacto knife and cut all around now friends, I'm gonna encourage you to stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you what Lisa included in the package for me. I know I didn't show you what gifts she got me, but I just wanted to just first go through the list and go shopping. But if you stay till the end of the video, I'll show you what she got me. All right, so now I'm gonna use my sanding block from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna sand down the edges. Such an easy technique to make those edges nice and smooth. 
I'm going to take this wooden tree form from the Dollar Tree from last year's Christmas stash, and I'm going to cover the top with some Dollar Tree caulk. I've used this technique before. It's such an easy way to add texture to any surface. I'm just going to add. It doesn't matter how you add it as long as just it's covered. And of course, I want it to be very textured, so I'm just going in all directions, and then I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to cut off some pieces of foam core so that I can put it behind the tree in between the wood round and the tree and I'm going to cut three of them. And then I'm just going to simply hot glue them together and on the wood round and this is just going to create that space, that 3D effect between the wood round and the tree. I did drill a hole on the side of the foam core blue lights that I got last year at Dollar Tree. They were in their Christmas section. After I placed the battery, I secured everything back in place and it's time to just start applying the lights. I'm just going to wrap them around the foam core. So first I got to thread them through the back. So I'm going to drill, like I said, another hole, make it wide enough for the lights to fit through. And then I'm going to keep the battery pack on the back and just thread the lights through the hole until they're all in the front and then wrap them around that foam core. I did secure the battery pack on the back of the wood round with some tape. I think these turned out so stinking cute. It's a perfect color for this DIY. Now I know it looks purple. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with like the camera, but it's not. It's actually really blue. So I really like it. Once the caulk was dry, I'm just going to give it one pretty heavy coat of Rust-Oleum chalked paint in the linen white and then let that fully dry. Once it was dry, then it's time to start attaching it onto the wood round. And it's such an easy step. Just basically add some hot glue and place the tree right on top. I wanted to add something, of course, to the right side of the tree, and I did not have any of these little pom-pom balls, but I did have this ribbon that had them, so I just cut them off <laughs> and reused them as little snowflakes. So I'm just gonna hot glue them here and there all over around the tree. And then I'm going to take some more of those glittery picks. This time they're going to be white again from the 4th of July section at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to start placing them towards the bottom of the design. Now I wish I would have had like a white poinsettia or anything, something a little bit more Christmassy floral wise. I had nothing. I think I had some red ones, but I just didn't think the red would be fine. So I'm just going to add this really large bell right on there. And I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I love those lights. I know they look purple, but they're actually blue. And I think it's just beautiful. Alright, so as promised, I just want to tell a little bit more about this collaboration. These beautiful, talented ladies have come together along with me to create every other month a collaboration to bring you tons of inspiration. And every month it's going to be about what's on my shopping list. So this month, again, Lisa sent me the list and I send it to Nadia from DIY with Nadia. So at the end of the video, make sure you go down to the description box so that you can find out what I sent Nadia on her shopping list. All right, for the next DIY, I'm going to take this wood slice that actually was sent to me by Artisa so long ago, and I still had it in my stash. You can find these at craft stores all the time. This wreath form is from Target Dollar Spot. It was $3. It was last year in their Christmas selection, and I kept it, and I have a few still. I'm just going to hot glue it right on top of this wood slice. We're going to make another centerpiece. This one's going to be a little bit more on the rustic side. In addition to the hot glue, I did decide to staple to make sure it's going to be nice and secure. Again, I am going to be selling all of these DIYs, so I want to make sure they're very sturdy. 
These I got at the Target Dollar Spot as well. They come three in a pack for $3. Now it has this silver tone, but it has this like antique speckles on it. And it has actually has kind of like a rustic look to it. I did hot glue this little reindeer leftover from last year's stash. And I just hot glued it to the front and made it a little bit more rustic. I hot glue three little evergreen pine trees to the side. And then I'm going to add some more of those evergreen picks to the back just to add some fullness to the centerpiece then i added some more of those red berries just to add a pop of color there was something still missing to the front so i had this leftover ribbon from last year it has the farmhouse christmas truck right on it i just made a very simple fluffy bow multiple loops tied it in the center and hot glue it in front of the rain gear And we're just about done with this one. Another super stunning, beautiful, rustic style Christmas centerpiece. I can't wait to sell it in my booth. I think it's absolutely beautiful. All right, you're gonna have to let me know which one is your favorite. I love my first one. I think that challenge, Lisa, thank you so much for the challenge. It was actually a lot of fun. But let me know in the comment which one is your favorite. Don't forget to visit the link down below so you can see what I got Nadia on her shopping list. And stay tuned here to see what Lisa got me as a gift. She also sent me a box full of goodies. So thank you, Lisa, for all these gifts. And she sent me literally a ton of these are my kids and I favorite gum and she sent me so many of them oh my goodness Lisa thank you let's see what else she sent me oh my goodness she sent me this cute little Ray Dunn it is look how pretty it says bless it has these cute colors pink and white and i love 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 lisa this is beautiful thank you all right let's see what else is in here oh goodness it's matching it's also a ray done it looks like oh it says hola bonita <laughs> which means hi pretty I love it. Let's open it up too so that you can see it. All right, let's see. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. I love these. These are so pretty. I like Ray Dunn's font. I think we all do. It's such a beautiful font. And the colors are just so pretty. So thank you, Lisa. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Again, don't forget to visit the link down below to visit Nadia's channel so that you can see what I challenged her with and you can see what she created with. I want to thank Lisa for sending in pretty easy items as my challenge items. And I want to thank you for watching. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. And if you are returning, welcome back. I have a video and a playlist here with tons more of inspiration for you. Check them out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.